The remains of the attack speak to a devastating explosion that damaged the home of Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa al kadimi It was a modern-style incursion. Three drones laden with explosives swooped in on the house, two of which were shot down by security forces. The third wounded six members of Kadimi's protection force. Kadimi appeared on camera shortly after, unharmed and resolute. My house was targeted by a cowardly attack, he said. The cowardly missiles and the cowardly drones do not build our nation and do not build our future. Iraq has been caught in political upheaval since its October elections were outright rejected by Iran-backed Shia militias, which have since camped out in tents near Baghdad's Green Zone, the heavily fortified area that's home to Kadimi's residents, as well as Iraqi government offices and international embassies. Kadimi is Iraq's former intelligence chief and is considered to be close to the U.S. He's also tried to ease regional tensions by hosting talks with Saudi Arabia and Iran. That, combined with his election win, led to protests that turned deadly on Friday between pro-Iranian demonstrators and security forces. Those same demonstrators suggested the attack on the prime minister was a calculated move by the government itself. They did this to distract people from what happened Friday when they killed innocent people, says this protester. The one thing we do know, no group has claimed responsibility for the attack leaving tensions dangerously high.